Hello beautiful people around the web. I am Snickers HD and your host for today's video. In this video we will be discussing the Snipen MVM and I will start up with the weapon choices that I suggest you to use and then the upgrades which are the two most important things about this video and about how to play any class at all at any time in any place and in any situation. So let's jump right into it. For the primary I suggest you to use the Hitman's Heat Maker. That sniper rifle allows you to use focus that you stack up by killing, not damaging but doing the final killing blow on an enemy or multiple enemies at once. Secondly, I would suggest you to take either the Cozy Camper or the Jarati. The Cozy Camper makes you not flinch as much or not flinch at all if you are being hit by some minigun spraying all over the place and just hitting you on the foot. Or you take the Jarati and slow down super scouts or other enemies and also enabling mini crits for all your teammates. For your melee weapon it really does not matter which you take, I personally take the Bushwhacker because if I use the Jarati on a super scout and I'm out of ammo or for some reasons don't even use my sniper, I can still get the crits on my Bushwhacker. At this point I want to explain why the Hitman Seatmaker is so good. The Hitman Seatmaker enables to use focus. Once you enable it and it's filled up, you can activate it with the R or reload button. Once it is activated, it will not put you out of your zoom in. So that means that you can stay in scope while you shoot, as long as your focus is enabled and still active. The active running time will be replenished as you continuously kill enemies, which is an awesome synergy effect if you have the explosives headshot upgrade. What that basically means is that once you headshot an enemy and the explosion is spread out throughout all foes in that area, you gain your focus by the explosion killing the other robots. That basically guarantees you an indefinite stream of focus and staying in scope for not being distracted or thrown off with your aim, which helps immensely. There is a minor setback to the Hitman's Heatmaker that body shots deal less damage, but all you want to do is doing headshots anyway. So if you are not really comfortable with dealing and aiming only for the head and doing headshots, Sniper might not be the right class for you, but it is definitely worth checking out, though you have to make sure to get these headshots. Moving on to the secondary, I use the Jarati. In conjunction with the Bushwalker, I can easily take out spies, identify them and slow them down, as well as slow down other enemy robots such as Super Scouts or whatever come is, is like coming up. But most importantly, you want to make sure that everyone gets the mini crits on the enemy robots. Third and lastly, I take the Bushwalker as the melee weapon of choice because with the Jarity it just makes sense to use a Bushwalker for the guaranteed crits on Jarrateed enemies. So let's cover the upgrades, the second most important thing about any class and the sniper is not an exception. You want to make sure to get your explosive headshot upgrade once as soon as you can. Second of all, you want to upgrade damage and reload speed evenly. It depends on how you play, but I would suggest doing that. You can't do any wrong if you do what I say. So you just be safe, upgrade damage and reload speed evenly. Let me explain why. First of all, if you upgrade just damage, you kill an enemy fast. Okay, that is great, but just one enemy. But if you use the Hitman's Heat Maker, you don't gain your focus as fast. And what you want to is to have focus all the time. It is quite obvious that explosive headshots are necessary for your build to sustain your continuity and your longevity. However, if you now upgrade damage, you don't have that continuity 
and only a focus like on a super robot which is fine but you cannot support your fellow engineer for example who se whose sentry might fling off to left and right to some minor and small groups of enemies and not being able to focus correctly so a area effect is always wise now if you upgrade the explosive headshots more than once you deal more damage with your explosives that is true but always from a portion of your original base damage that is your base damage if you now upgrade your base damage by upgrading the damage of the sniper rifle you also increase the damage that is distributed between all the small and other robots that are being hit by the explosion but if you only upgrade the explosive headshots your max damage your maximum damage that you can possibly deal will not be increased but always stay at 150 with a quick headshot or with a fully charged headshot that is at this point i hope that you understand what i try to get across if you want to focus enemies down just go for the straight up damage if you want to evenly distribute the damage go for explosive headshots but if you really want to crack the that is my fucking timer for my food holy shit i forgot about that in the oven um, see you guys in a second. Alright, where was I? Ah, okay. If you want to get the most out of your build, go for the explosive headshot once, then the damage, and then the explosive headshots afterwards. Now I do not want to neglect the reload time upgrade, so I explain that right now. Reload time basically means firing speed for the sniper, because after every single shot you reload, because you have just only one bullet in your clip, so he reloads every single time, that means you're effectively upgrading the speed in that you fire, which means that more bullets, more damage. Easy. And if you now think about that, if you have your focus and you shoot very fast with that reload timer and have the explosive headshots you can easily pick on a giant robot and get all the small robots that lies and just run around it and you just gain focus and focus and focus you can stay zoomed in and just blast its head off the last upgrade i want to cover is the increased charge time if you zoom in it is a good upgrade, but it is not the best in the beginning, especially if you hunt for focus and for the fast and rapid fire shooting gallery, basically. You can pick it up for a first zoomed in shot or on the fly zoomed in shot to make sure to hit it, but as soon as you got to focus, you spam and spam and spam anyway. So, in conclusion, you can pick it up later after you have upgraded as I instructed you basically. It is good but not the best for the Hitman's Heatmaker. As a side note here, if you use the Jarati, which I highly recommend as your secondary, you should also go for slowing speed once, which is only available once, so just do that, as soon as you can, but only if there are super scouts. If there are not, you can lay it back as soon as you see, oh, there are super scouts, do it once to help your team. That re really, really helps. If you now are done with all the upgrades for the sniper rifle, you can fully upgrade the recharge timer on your Jarity if you don't have anything else to upgrade. So, if you think about it, that's basically it. A sniper is very easy to understand. He aims and clicks on heads and shoots. That's all a sniper does. You don't have any crowd control, control capabilities except for the charity and maybe the explosive headshots that kills people and that's all about it. But now comes into play what I've told you in the previous videos about MVM, the defensive and resistance upgrades. As soon as they are crit enemies and coming with hit scan weapons such as miniguns, shotguns and whatever shooting not projectile based weapons which are always bullets basically in Team Fortress. You should go for the crit up upgrade so you don't die instantly and if it's too much of a clusterfuck go for the bullet or blast resistance upgrade as well. It is highly recommended to do that because if you die you can't do anything that's 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 it. If you don't feel comfortable with that, you can also go for the health on kill upgrade 
and uh, maybe a canteen that teleports you back to spawn or the uber upgrade which i take always when i have a lot of money left and i don't know what to do with that so the uber upgrade is definitely worth trying out if you are good enough to time it and not actually waste it or don't even use it at all if you don't use your ubers don't buy them just die and get over it because you will die eventually so dying once and having an uber I don't know if it's worth a try or worth, worth the effort put into that, even like trying to rely on your capabilities and abilities of using the uber canteen properly. Crit canteen won't really matter that much because you want to have the crit headshots anyway, so crit canteens never ever. The ammo canteens are maybe a useful choice, but even then, seriously, ammo, you can upgrade your ammo and that's just as fine, it's a permanent upgrade and not like not wasteable <laughs> wasteable is that a word but you don't waste it that much and if you kind of remember where you stand and where pickups lay around you are set up and it's all fine stick to a dispenser or whatever and you are very good to go finally let's talk about your focus targets what you basically aim out for to do and what your job is first of all your job is simple kill as much as you can but second of all Focus on enemies that are relevant. Your explosive headshots and your damage upgrade on headshots or overall is perfect to take down uber medics. For example, if there's a giant heavy robot and you have the explosive headshots and the damage upgrade, you can just headshot the heavy, for example, and kill the small medics without them popping their uber. That is a perfect strategy. Also, if you throw your jarity of on top of them they basically are slowed down and crumble up in this in this ball and this compact walking pile of robots because they are slowed down and their walking paths just direct them into one huge pile and that makes it easier for headshots to like let everyone explode including the uber medics so uber medics are your priority and uber bots as well like um giant bots as soon as you have one giant bot, bot just headshot it, headshot it, headshot it and focus it down as much as you can. Also to look out for are spies of course. So always know when spies are coming, watch the wave uh, indicator when spies are incoming and you have your Gerati for example, that helps out too. But also kill the engineer bots with headshots so everyone has a easy time taking down the sentries and everything that the engineer is built and you also have to do that as well after the engineer is done but focus on the engineer that is always a very important thing because maybe you have a i don't know the team is down and you have a pyro for instance and he can't do jack shit to that so it's your job you are a support class you're not the damage type of class you are a supporting class with these words i think i can conclude this video and this tutorial i hope i could help you and I hope you enjoyed watching. If you want to know anything, ask me in the comment section or write me a pers personally or whatever. I will answer anything to you that you have questions about. And we see us next time. Keep it up.